hi everyone and welcome back to my channel i'm so happy to have you here i hope you're all doing well today's pick a card reading is about do they like you so we're gonna see if the person that you have in mind likes you or has feelings for you okay there's three piles for you to choose from this is pile number one with the blue opal crystal in the shape of a crescent moon This is pile number two with the green fluoride crystal in the shape of a point. And this is pile number three with the amethyst crystal. Choose the pile that you feel the most drawn to and after you're done choosing you can skip ahead using the timestamps down below but before we get started please take a quick moment to hit like and also to subscribe to my channel for more readings like this in the future and if you're interested in any of the decks that I'm going to use today I'm going to leave all the links down below so you can check them out and with that being said I'll see you on your reading hi my dear pile number one welcome to your reading for those of you that chose the blue opal crystal in the shape of a crescent moon and you were drawn to the round and round card okay so i feel like this person's feelings for you are definitely there you know there's uh, a situation where it keeps coming back and back i feel like this person is sort of trying to maybe move on or maybe this person has other priorities right now in their life but i feel like their feelings uh for you keep dragging them back and in, into thinking about you into like into this spiral yeah it's a spiral it's a, a cycle that keeps happening so i feel like uh they're caught up in this spiral of having feelings about uh, for you and like thinking about you all the time daydreaming about you i feel like um even though even though they're actively like trying maybe to to move on or to focus on other things or they might have other priorities right now and they don't want to focus on love i feel like their feelings for you are definitely there and keeps pulling them in into this spiral uh, that i was talking about okay um and i also sense that maybe this could be an on and off type of connection for some of you it's going to resonate that way okay like a cycle that's keeps happening yeah like round and round um like keep getting back on and off like uh from this connection all right um and for those of you yeah that i that uh you maybe have an on and off or this person uh, is like actively trying to move on i feel like they're having a hard time to stop thinking about you or uh for their thought to not keep like yeah like jumping on you during the day um i feel like you're definitely spinning round and round in their head that's for sure so they are thinking a lot about you all right now let's take a look at your tarot cards and see what else we have about this person's feelings for you pal number one does this person like pal number one we have seven of pentacles okay do they like pal number one what are their feelings for pal number one okay so we have the sun i need to cover the card okay i'm gonna put it like this for you let's see what else we have hmm. seven of cups and the three of wands i'm sorry if i cut the video right there but i've got the world and i need to cover the world as well because of youtube rules but it's crazy we've got the world which is a representation of a circle um of a cycle yeah so it's really really interesting okay so i've got your tarot cards here and what I'm seeing, pal number one for you, is definitely that this person, uh, even though they they do seem to have either lots of options in here with the seven of cups, yeah, like maybe more options as in romantic options uh, or opportunities or maybe other stuff to prioritize or like many things to 
uh, think about i feel like also this is a card about daydreaming about uh, being caught up in the realm of imagination rather than reality so it can be uh, a representation of two messages one is that they might have other options or other stuff that they can focus on but i feel like they're really overwhelmed and, and a bit confused because uh in at the end of the day they keep thinking about you and you keep spinning round and round in their head you are something that it's like stuck it sticks with them yeah throughout the day and really uh they find it really hard to to move on or to to choose between those two options or like multiple options that they have i i sense confusion i sense overwhelming energy so I, that's for sure pal one they find it hard to move on from you they find it hard not to think about you uh so they they do have strong feelings uh, for you and also the other message that i was talking about with this seven of cups is that this person is definitely spending a lot of time thinking about you and daydreaming about you uh like i'm i'm getting this message this strong message that they find it hard to focus on their reality on their like everyday life uh, on the stuff that they have to do because they keep being distracted again and again yeah by you coming into their head and like uh, they thinking about you and daydreaming about uh stuff between the two of you or like things that they wish you could do together okay like this is about imagination about dreaming about picturing certain stuff in certain uh situations okay um that obviously involves the two of you so yeah you're in their head a lot pile number one um and the world card it's really interesting because it's like a cycle and normally that this signifies yeah like a cycle that just ended in a natural way in a new one starting okay so i feel like in this case it's a very particular message because it's literally saying that the might be thinking that this is something that it's meant to end this is a cycle that it's supposed to come to an end yeah like this connection that you have um but the new one that's starting it's again you it's again you being in their head it's a new one uh starting that involves the two of you once again so that's why i have a strong uh feeling that this might be an on and off type of connection uh like maybe it's being in separation getting back together breaking up being back together or it could be that they're actively trying yeah, to to focus on other things or they have other other stuff that they could be looking forward to but then they get sucked in back into this uh like spiral yeah that i was talking in the beginning of your reading uh like their feelings for you are so strong and they cannot just move on and their thoughts about you just keep coming back uh, again and again and it's like uh, a cycle that keeps repeating itself right um i do see that they it's somehow like um like fed by them like these thoughts are fed by their own um uh, their own behavior because they keep looking back at the past and memories that you have together or stuff that you did together uh quite a lot here with the seven of pentacles i see that they keep looking at moments of you of you two and they are really happy about them they're really looking with nostalgia at them or they are really happy for uh everything you've been through and it really is like that type of feeling that it sticks with them the pentacles are a representation of a long-term energy of something that is stable and, and grounded yeah so i feel like these memories and and their feelings for you are deeply in, uh, like stuck with within themselves in their heart and they're not going anywhere anytime soon so they're very attached to you they are like pretty much uh finding it hard to move on or to let go um okay i feel like here with the sun they really love your company they really love spending time with you they i feel like this is even one why it's hard for them because they always felt 
like happy that's why they even look at like such great memories or at least they look at only the bright side but they definitely have like so many great memories with you or like they genuinely love spending time with you they love hanging out with you it's uh like sort of the highlight of their day it is something that they always look forward to and it's bring them a lot of joy uh the sun is like such a positive card all about like joy in, in having the time of your life so i feel like you really put like a print like an imprint uh, into their heart with your personality your presence and your energy okay that's why it's like stuck with them uh okay and they, they cannot even <laughs> like move on or like they cannot stop thinking about you depending uh on uh, obviously on the situation it's a general reading for those of you that resonates that you've been on an on and off relationship you might be in separation or this person might be trying to move on from you uh it, it's hard they cannot really move on from you it's like they're still pretty much in love with you pal number one um but for those of you that it doesn't resonate that way uh and you just might be wondering if, if this person likes you or not i feel like um they they fell in love with you and it's like that sort of uh beginning yeah like that period of time where they non-stop uh, think about you and they daydream about you and uh they just enjoy your company they enjoy being with you they they seem to like at the end of each day like look at the things that you said or things that you did together and they are just so happy and they feel like joy and they feel fulfilled uh fulfillment it's a huge uh, word it's a keyword yeah that's coming in okay um and here with these two of ones i'm sensing that you know this person is trying to look ahead in the future i feel like uh they are actively trying to like plan something out so it could be that they're planning to come forward to you and express how they feel uh that they can stop thinking about you i see still passion in here with the ones so this is a card that shows enthusiasm and passion involved into into those plan making so it's not a plan to to let go i feel like it's a plan to that involves you because obviously there's uh, this passion involved here there's this uh attraction that is still uh strong yeah that they feel for you all right now let's take a look at some of your oracle cards pile number one and see what else we have healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so this person might be trying to heal yeah like they might be to going to um um like therapy or they might be doing like their own in a work by doing meditation like practicing uh, meditation or like trying to really focus on themselves and connecting with who they are and like their wounds and trying to understand themselves better and try to heal as a person okay and i feel like this is a, an important aspect of their life right now so i feel like they might be yeah for, for some of you it's going to resonate that this person is genuinely trying to focus on their healing process and it's like you really distract them be like their feelings for you distract them okay and uh they just simply cannot stop thinking about you okay and i feel like um maybe this planning is like the healing process and them looking ahead in the future when they're obviously like doing that shadow work is going to only benefit them and and having healthier relationships uh which obviously can improve the connection between the two of you and i feel like this is something they look forward to uh here with this uh, three of ones sorry if i said two of ones okay so we have heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other okay we have new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings oh okay and we also have reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life all right so i feel like pal number one you know i feel like it's two messages exactly for i was like what i was seeing earlier i feel like for some of you this is definitely 
a new love yeah a person that's new into your life and you're new in their life and you're that new person that stirred their romantic feelings and obviously they just can't stop thinking about you they just can't uh focus on anything they keep just daydreaming about you they're in that like first stage of love where uh they are just in this euphoric state yeah like the sun being euphoric being happy and always just feeling that like you're having the time of your life like full of serotonin and oxytocin and like just being all happy and looking forward to spend more and more time with you and like always you being in their head like spinning round and round and i feel like for some of you yeah it's gonna resonate that this person is coming with like reconciliation in mind uh for those of you that had like this type of on and on connection that i was seeing into your reading uh yeah it literally says someone from your past is returning to your life so i feel like this person is doing that healing uh they are doing the that inner work and they hope that yeah like they look ahead in the future and they plan this coming forward with reconciliation in mind and making up okay and like picking up from where you left uh sort of thing and yeah they want to have like really honest and vulnerable conversations with you like heart to heart conversations yeah, like this discuss honestly like your feelings with each other and sort of like reach an agreement and like reconciliate all right let's see what else we have seduction attraction flirting dating temptation okay so i feel like there's definitely that uh, a message again of attraction of they find you seductive they find you magnetic they find you irresistible okay there's a huge attraction in chemistry that, uh, that they feel for you um and yeah i feel like this person is just going to be more and more flirty with you and they're gonna probably ask you out for a date yeah or ask you to like have a date and talk and like reconciliate okay let's see one more okay i feel like this one both receiving what you want progression arriving moving on closure issues so i feel like this person will definitely come forward and ask you to like meet up and talk and like get that closure yeah at least in and move on rather like either move on on their own like if they're trying to like actively move on and if this won't like the reconciliation won't happen but i feel like also it could be closure uh like taking closure of whatever happened between the two of you and then like moving on with a new cycle yeah like a cycle ending and a new one starting uh as in this connection that's still involving both of you but it's a new cycle where both of you know for sure where you stand you you talk things through like at a very deep level and then you can move on um and receiving what you want so this is sort of like what they want okay like they want progression they want things to evolve um and that's why i feel like they're even focusing on healing that much and becoming a better version of themselves right now let's take a look at channel messages from this person for you pal number one and see what we have i know i was a distraction from your pain so we have that this person thinks that they were just a distraction for you okay I am afraid to contact you they maybe are thinking that you are not going to accept this meeting or this date or maybe they're thinking that you're they're scared of your answer regarding this reconciliation or they don't know what you're going to say yeah like on these deep conversations obviously it's a huge thing and it's a huge step so they're a bit afraid to contact you you don't know how hard it was to let you go wow so for those of you you know that this person decided to sort of remove themselves from this connection and focus on the healing or like thinking that maybe they want to start fresh but then obviously it was so hard for them to let you go and they want to tell you that because you are in their head pretty much all the time okay so yeah this is all i have for you my dear pal number one i really hope you enjoy your reading if you did give it a like and also subscribe to my channel for more readings like this in the future thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next one until then take care bye bye hi my dear pal number two welcome to your reading for those of you that chose the green fluoride crystal 
Okay, so you were drawn to the fork in the road, pile number two. I'm sensing that this person that you have in mind is at a point in their life where they have to choose between two options, maybe more options, but I feel like strongly is represented too. It's like they don't know like where to move forward to um like fork in the road obviously means like that in a point uh, like metaphorically they have multiple ways to pick up from and they don't know which one is the best they don't know which one is going to benefit them the most they don't know which one like what path they're meant to to take right um and continue their journey so i feel like uh, they're confused, okay, with the fork in the road. There's that confusion. There's that uh, indecisiveness. Maybe it's like them having to choose between more options in like love, like romantic ones, or maybe they have like multiple people interested in them, or they are interested in more than just you, or like, okay, this is showing that they're interested in you, pal number two. Uh, I need to make that clear. But I feel like there's also maybe another person or like maybe another thing or multiple things that they need to focus on. Maybe they are also interested in studying uh, or like living abroad or like, you know, there's obviously this is a general reading and there are a lot of different example, examples I could give. But I feel like if it's about them like moving abroad, it's like, sh do I want to stay for panel number two or, or should I follow this path or like this dream or should I uh, study yeah like and I need to go further uh, from pal number two in should I do that or should I pursue that or or stick with them it's obviously like um multiple examples but yeah there's that energy in here now let's take a look at your tarot cards and see like more clearly what are their feelings for you pal number two <laughs> feelings for you pal number two it rhymes anyway yeah let's see what else we have we have ten of swords the hanged man does this person like pal number two okay uh, i'm sorry if i cut the video right there but i needed to co cover the judgment card we've got the judgment and the queen of cups as well and let's see one last tarot card Oh, okay, the hermit looking for answers makes sense. Makes sense with the first card that we had. All right. Okay, so this is really interesting. We've got the hermit, we've got the hangman. Both cards are showing that this person is actively trying to find an answer or a solution to their confusion, to their indecisiveness. Um, and I, maybe you're, you're sensing that this person pull out a bit and you're, you're like, does this person like me or like what's going on with them? I feel like they're spending more and more time alone. Maybe they're hard to reach out to um, or maybe you're, or, you know, no contact. Yeah, like I feel like they want to spend more time and be on their own. Yeah, like be alone because they they need to find clarity within themselves. They need to find that answer like what? Is best for me what am i supposed to choose um and that's their way of finding that answer by being on their own and i feel like they're doing a lot of introspection they're like you know like uh weighing down the pros and cons or like weighing down the the priorities that they have this is them like looking for that light that solution that's that answer okay and they're looking within but because i feel like this is some like a decision that's really important for them and they want to make sure that they are taking the right one by not being influenced from uh the outside world or like exterior uh you know people or like exterior um, elements i feel like they want to make sure that this is a decision that comes from within that's taken by themselves only and it comes from their own judgment and um like clarity okay and wow i'm, I'm again i'm i'm realizing that we've got the uh, the judgment in there which obviously like judgment is like the uh, 
a card that shows a big decision, a huge decision that you have to make is like so clearly in here. Your message is very clear, pile number two. Okay, a big decision that's going to change your life. So now it all sort of makes sense why they're making such a big deal out of this um, because it is something like that once they choose is going to change their life or is going to change their reality and it's going to be very different yeah like each path that they need to take is going to be very different from one another so that's why they want to be really careful about what they choose um and judgment also makes me think about like obviously judging and like uh having good judgment yeah like trying to really think about all the aspects regarding a situation and all the out possible outcomes and everything that comes in with that particular journey or path that you need to take and make sure you've got great judgment into like mental clarity yeah like sort of that um message i'm picking up into knowing for sure that what you choose you won't regret okay i feel like this is their biggest issue right now <laughs> and with the hangman again is a card of trying to look at things from a new perspective trying to see uh like from a different lens trying to think outside of the box and again it can be associated with coming up with the answer or solution but something that you know i feel like they're really trying to see uh, like everything uh, from all points of views and like they keep flipping back and forth or like spinning around these options uh, back and forth in their head really trying to see all the things that it involves in like how things will will uh, ev ev like evolve from there um and how things will progress with each decision that they could be making yeah a lot of confusion and i feel like all of this is making them feel really low you know i feel like also this is a card of feeling like they've been betrayed or like their trust has been broken and i feel like this can be associated with this connection because this is a reading about how they feel about you so pal number two maybe you did something or you said something that made them feel like they lost some of their trust in you or they feel really hurt and upset by you um but overall you know this reading is about us this person like me and we have the queen of cups which is saying obviously yes but even by just looking at how hard it is for them to make a decision i feel like obviously their feelings for you are really strong and play a huge role because otherwise it would have been so simple to to decide um so i feel like queen of cups is really showing strong feelings that they have for you there they even are in love with you okay queen of cups is like all about those deep emotions like feeling really attached and then strong feelings for someone um and really caring about someone so they really care about you okay it's it's not just liking you but loving you and that's why it's so hard for them to make a decision because i feel like their feelings for you are really deep and they wait a lot in their heart when it comes to making decisions okay even though they feel upset maybe as i said for for some of you it's going to resonate that this person may, might be upset on you for something that uh, happened between the two of you maybe an argument that you had and maybe they feel like hurt and upset or it, this could represent for some of you that this person it feels like this like so hurt because they might be forced into making a decision they might have to do this like they might be um having pressure from someone or like from the outside in order to choose something and their feelings for you are so strong and they find it really hurtful that this situation involves them to having to choose in the first place all right because I feel here with the Queen of Cups, they all they want so much to to be with you and like 
experience this love and and show you how much they care about you, their affection okay i feel like there's a lot of beautiful energy of love in here with the queen of cups this shows a person that's generous and wants to really like spoil their partner or like the person that they have feelings for and show them all their affection okay now let's take a look at your oracle cards and see what else we have oh okay so we literally had this in pile number one but it decided to flip here as well so we have heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other so i feel like they want to come forward and talk to you about how they feel maybe they feel bad for letting you hanging while they make a decision um and because their feelings are so real and pure they want to make sure that you to talk about everything and they are open like 100 percent about what they're going through and about their feelings for you okay let's see oh okay we have trust this situation is calling for you to have faith so they're trying to you know trust the process have faith that things will work out between the two of you okay and trying to to really believe that even though they might choose something like things will work out something that uh is going to like imply to be away from you or something like that they really want to believe that somehow things will work out for the two of you and if that's not the case like at least they want they, they are, have a huge faith and they want to believe and trust that they will find a way an answer in how to make sure that uh things between the two of you will stay intact uh, that's why they are so actively trying like they they don't want to give up okay i'm this is for sure they don't want to give up to this connection and with this hangman i feel like uh they're trying to sort of find a way in order to not necessarily have to choose between one or another because this is more about like finding a unique solution something that's out of the box okay like out of the norm that's why like see it's portrayed with the head down so it's like okay let me say from a different perspective maybe i can find a way that i don't need to actually choose between one or another and maybe i can find a way okay and we also have playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so i feel like maybe they're pressured by responsibilities and all this decision making i feel like got them in a very serious responsible mindset and they sort of lost that playfulness out of this connection that flirty youthful spirit that carefree spirit and i feel like they want to like get more into that mind space of being more playful and flirty and they want to recapture romance because obviously there is love that we have here with the queen of cups and they just want to experience uh love as a playful beautiful thing as a positive thing yeah something that brings joy in having great moments together let's see what else we have the sword and rose clarity truth yes this is what they're looking for for clarity for finding out a way uh revelation so they are looking for having that moment of like okay i got it i know what i have to do or i know what's best for me i know how to deal with things right now okay um honor protection power okay so i feel like they want to honor this love they want to protect what you have in this connection and they want to find that mental clarity and have that moment of revelation where like okay i know how to deal with everything now we have the phoenix new face rekindle renew transformation growth change mind um i feel like the phoenix is obviously a representation of something coming back to life um like being born once again and i feel like we're t we're looking at their like at, at this the way that they are experiencing this love right like the, the way this connection maybe have uh shifted and they want to recapture that romance they want to get back into like feeling playful and feeling flirty and making sure that this 
connection comes back into a place more of a uh, of fun and like feeling good right rather than this hurtful serious or uh, tense um, situation that we're seeing here okay and now let's take a look at channel messages from this person for your pal number two i hope that you can forgive me one day so they're probably aware of the fact that they make you go through a hard time right now because of this indecisiveness or the fact that they are you know like literally pulling out from this connection by focusing on other things or like for the fact that they are even confused in the first place okay they are hoping that you're going to forgive them maybe they are realizing they're hurting you i bury myself in work to forget you so i feel like that's what i'm i'm talking about like they're way too serious they're in a very serious but also responsible i feel mind space where they are they would rather just bury themselves in work and forget about you but i don't feel in this reading it's about forgetting you for good it's about forgetting you for just a, a minute while they're making the decision like minute obviously metaphorically speaking like for a while while they are literally just trying to to make their mind make up their mind and decide and or find a solution okay um because i feel like their feelings for you would be obviously like a huge maybe distraction um that's why it's like even like so hurting them a lot and that pain can can wait a bit too much and maybe they're trying to let that on a side for a while a while they were while they focus on making this decision but i feel like um yeah they they definitely want to get back more into um like less intense and <laughs> pressurable mind space okay here with the phoenix and the playfulness we also have i can't stop thinking about you so there you have it pal number two you are in their mind all the time they can't stop thinking about you as much as they try to bury themselves in work to forget you like or like put their feelings for you on a side they are so strong they cannot stop thinking about you okay so this is all i have for you pal number two i really hope you enjoyed your reading if you did give it a like and also subscribe to my channel for more readings in the future thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next one until then take care bye bye Hi my dear pal number three, welcome to reading for those of you that chose the Amethyst Crystal. So yeah, let's see what we have for you. You are drawn to the regeneration card, which is showing that this person's energy like right now is that of healing, of going through a period of trans uh, or, or a transition, yeah, a period of time where they are focusing on regenerating and rejuvenating and healing and uh recharging their batteries maybe or like trying to reinvent themselves or something that's helping them grow and helping them uh like sort of like re re like born or like get back into a new life or start a new life um like shed yeah like old skin maybe in like uh renew themselves and reinvent themselves and find a way to shine again find a way to feel good again um and healthy and and happy um obviously like we have this image how this tree is literally starting to like grow again and and have new leaves and fresh life fresh new life right uh so i feel like maybe they're either trying to uh like create a new life for themselves or um manage to to really get used to a new life okay or creating yeah, a new reality into maybe a new place or maybe they've just moved in into a new place uh, or a new country or they started a new job or they are just in their feelings yeah like they they've held they've healed uh certain wounds and they're trying to become 
uh, happier and healthier and feeling better in a mindset overall like having a better mindset all right now let's take a look at your tarot cards and see what we have for you if this person likes to pound number three we have wheel of fortune okay then this person like pound number three oh we have the high priestess eight of swords knight of pentacles and five of pentacles hmm, your cards pound number three were so quick to flip all right Um, so what I'm sensing for you about this person, pile number three, is that I, I, I don't see here any cards or any messages that shows that you know this person being okay right now to start a connection. I feel like right now they're focusing on themselves, okay? I see that they're feeling a bit blocked, they're feeling a bit low mentally here as well with the five of pentacles they feel lonely they feel left out or left behind uh they feel overall lonely and like they they don't find a place to belong to I mean, as i said maybe they just moved into uh, a new place yeah maybe you know, they are new in this country that you're living in or like they are new in this town or like city or uh new at the job okay like they are trying to carve their way out through this path through this new reality through this new world and i feel like they 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 are feeling lonely and they're feeling a bit like they don't belong or they they don't fit in um okay and i see that they're feeling like restricted and blocked and they don't really see maybe how like how they can fit in or like they don't see a way for them to to you know fit in into the, this new situation or this new area um and they feel like they don't belong okay uh but i do sense that they really believe that things will obviously change for the better i see that they do realize that this is a um, not a permanent situation but just a temporary one um and they do know that things will work out for them somehow and the universe will turn around yeah, the other wheel of fortune will turn around in their favor so i feel like um they are keeping this even though they feel like really low mentally they are keeping uh like their mental space to to be as positive as possible or they, they maintain their calm they maintain uh, yeah like a behavior that shows you know feeling grounded and feeling patient for things to work out for them or for time to pass and for them to accommodate or to heal okay the high priestess signifies an energy of someone that is like steadying still in grounded like inwards I, i'm talking about like feeling inwards like still and calm and patient and grounded and trying to be as much as possible in contact with themselves and their intuition that's going to guide them is going to help them um find a way and also this is a very mature energy is a energy that shows resilience and a person that is able to find the the calm in a hard situation or find their peace their inner peace in a during like a hard time or a hard situation or a transition okay so i feel like this person is just needs some time just needs uh to to like really accommodate or um get used to this new reality or this new place or getting over yeah their healing process and finding out themselves on the other side healed and ready to embrace a new start okay because we have here the knight of pentacles it shows a slow energy because we have pentacles so it is going it's going to be quite a long process or uh, it's going to take a while but also this shows 
a person that's coming towards you in asking you to maybe be together okay so after this healing process maybe this person will be come up to you and be like i want to be with you and it shows real feelings okay it shows a person that has steady real feelings okay so i feel like they do want to have a, a connection with you pal number three but i feel like uh they have the maturity to like they are mature enough to realize that they want to take things slow they don't want to rush things around and they are just waiting for things to get a bit better and like heal or like to be in a better mind space before coming forward and yeah like asking you out or like get closer to you and try to start a connection because i'm sensing that what they want is something long term uh they want they are looking for a stable committed relationship they don't want just to casual date or like have fun they want something real and secure okay and i feel like they know what they have to offer and therefore maybe they're waiting to to feel that it is going to be the right time for them to start this connection or it's going to be the the right uh, mind space for them to start a new connection okay so this is just a transition yeah they're going to a regeneration uh, time in their life and what they need is just obviously time and to heal and to feel better and yeah I'm, I'm sensing that they're just waiting for things to naturally shift and like uh things to move you know in with the flow and for things to fall into the right place naturally oh uh, here with the wheel of fortune they do believe that things will eventually get better or things will change for the better so they're just yeah in in a not necessarily waiting process but they are just uh realizing that they cannot force or rush this process okay they just need to take their time and they just need to um like follow this journey yeah it's not a journey that they can rush or step ahead um because they, then they realize it's just gonna backfire them so they want to just make sure that they feel completely at peace and and healed and ready to 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 come forward and, and start a connection because they want to make things the right way as i said they're looking for something calm stable and secure so they don't want to just rush things around okay all right now let's take a look at your oracle cards pal number three and see what we have for you you deserve love you're lovable so a thing that i feel like is part of their healing process to realize that they are deservable deservable they do deserve love and they are um you know in a position that they can be loved and that that's why maybe they feel so lonely and left out maybe they are in a this is rep uh, like representing that mental space where they feel like they don't deserve love or like nobody can love them so i feel like they realize that they need to heal that they need to get into a better mind space before jumping into a new connection yeah this can be something from their past experiences or like some wounds that need healing um that's why maybe they feel even so blocked here with this eight of swords because they do realize that this way a connection cannot be healthy stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance so yeah as i said they're trying to stay positive there we have here the wheel of fortune so they're staying optimistic and positive that things will turn around in their favor and you know by being in this by having faith and being in this positive mindset things will change for the better and they will find this true love that or they will start this connection that they are so much willing to to start right let's see what else we have love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so yeah it, it's clarified again and again panel number three that this person is focusing on like self-love and finding that uh healing where they can 
where they can feel worthy of love okay and they can feel like uh they are in a place where they respect themselves and they are in a good relationship and healthy relationship with themselves before jumping into a relationship maybe it's something that they learned from experience yeah from from the past so now they don't want to make the same uh, same step right let's see abundance again we have keep a positive mindset so we've got twice like um here in, in this card as well like this positive thinking so we also have the fortune yeah the wheel of fortune so they are being optimistic okay they're obviously not dwelling into that uh, low mental space the as as i was saying in the beginning they do realize that things will change for the better okay uh even though it might be hard right now, they do realize that it's not a permanent situation, it's just a temporary one, right? And they will reinvent themselves or things will like grow back to, to life or things will turn into being better um, and more fulfilling and bringing abundance, yeah? Manifesting exactly what you have. We have abundance, yeah? Like manifest exactly what you want. So what they want is a, to find a person that they can have this stable committed relationship and i feel like they found you they they do realize that uh they want this with you but they wait to make things the right way yeah like not rush things around um and they're what they're trying to manifest is starting a connection that's going to bring them that sense of security and true love and a person that they they can build a life with yeah this is something about long term like wanting to to have that partner for a lifetime this is what they're looking for okay and yeah they're trying to keep that positive mindset of gratitude of yeah like feeling like universe is going to work out uh not against me but for me and things will turn to exactly the way i want right we also have the butterfly okay a uh, relationship evolving to the next phase healing the inner child we literally have that message in there panel number three it, it your reading is very clear okay we have healing the inner child growth they're growing they're healing right uh and they're waiting for being in a better mind space in order to make this connection evolve to the next phase yeah like going to a more official stable committed relationship um but they first need to love themselves uh, and show them that they are worthy of love and heal, enrich this high priestess energy of uh, emotionally mature and balanced person. Um, yeah, I love this. Like a tree growing beautiful new leaves shows hope, shows positive mindset, shows that abundance will come eventually into their life and they can grow also this shows growth okay now let's take a look at channel messages from this person for you pal number three. Ooh, okay we have you came closer than anyone so this person feels like you are the person that they left the most like close to their heart and you they've been the most vulnerable vulnerable with you and you also have you speak to me through music so i feel like whenever they listen to certain songs or like yeah certain songs really speak to them about this connection remind them of you and we also have i feel you even though we are apart okay so they have strong feelings for you they think about you they feel you yeah they feel that you are with them even though they are apart uh or you're not together so i feel like maybe even by listening to certain songs and like this music that speaks to them and reminds them of you makes them feel you closer even though you are physically apart and because they got this sense that you really really connected on a very deep level yeah you came closer than anyone it's like you're in their heart and you're with them any everywhere and anywhere okay this is such a beautiful sweet message okay i really hope you enjoyed your reading this is all i have for you if you enjoyed it give it a like and also subscribe to my channel for more readings in the future thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next one until then take care bye bye